Could nicotine have health benefits? It's a question a local documentary filmmaker is asking. New at 10, Rebecca Clough talked to him about his push to learn more about the controversial drug and why. Steve and Carol, You Don't Know Nicotine takes a look at whether people who suffer from diseases like Parkinson's could actually be helped by nicotine in other forms than smoking. Milwaukee filmmaker is on a mission to talk about nicotine, but it's not what you might think. Most people think of smoking when they hear nicotine, yet now there's potential treatments for, you know, very devastating diseases. Aaron Biebert is in the process of making his film. You don't know nicotine. His downtown Milwaukee studio serves as the base for his production, but he says his focus is to find doctors from around the world. Some of the things I'm hearing about the brain, it's possible that using nicotine without smoke actually might help with Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, dementia. His message is concerning to some medical professionals, including a medical director at Ascension, Wisconsin. Nicotine in and of itself is an addictive uh, agent. So once you get used to taking it, you need more and more. Dr. Steinert says not only that, so far the research isn't there to back up the claims. Let's look at the studies. Let's look at the science behind it. Could it be beneficial in certain aspects? Potentially. Uh, but are there other side effects? that surmount or overcome the, any benefit. A nonprofit that's also looking at this is the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. In October, the organization put out a blog saying they supported a trial to study if nicotine patches could slow Parkinson's disease. The findings, in part, nicotine patches are not beneficial in Parkinson's and do not slow the clinical progression of the disease. But Bieber believes there could be more to the story. And this is crazy talk, but someone has to do the research on it because right now we're only kind of hearing one side of it. Now I did ask the filmmaker if they are getting any money from the tobacco industry, if they're being compensated for, by them in any way, and the answer was no. The documentary is still being made. It's expected to be released sometime next year. Stephen Carroll. Very interesting. Thank you, Rebecca.